Hello friends, welcome back to the grind. Okay, it's my first game as an 800. Let's see what we can do. Okay. All right. So far, so good, I think. Just playing the Karakon. Opponent's playing the hyper aggressive maneuver. Uh, so I can either go f5 or d7 with the light square bishop. I can also try to kick his bishop back. I want to play a developing move. Hmm. There's also like, I think b6. Is a common idea in the Karo Khan. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna develop. I need to get rid of this pin eventually. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I do go b6 and just try to kick his uh his light square bishop there. So it looks like he kind of wants to release his uh dark square bishop, perhaps. Do we kick or play b6? Kick or play b6? Just so early to get the queen out. I'm not super sure. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I've never tried this. We'll see if it works. I kind of like this because it forces his bishop to unpin the knight. Hmm. I think this just gives me a free pawn. C2. I know that's really early, but ah, nice move there. Okay, so he blocks that in, so now he's just attacking this pawn. Now it's probably time for me to start developing my king side. Need to make a little hidey hole for my uh, light square bishop here. Hmm. What's the big threat here? Is there a big threat? I don't know. Do like that. I could also come pin his knight here. Um, let's think. Hmm. I don't want to keep the dark square bishop so I can go after like h2. But I can win a pawn if I take his knight on c3 there. I'm just going to go for it. Then I could try to win another pawn on c2 as well. I really need to cast. I need to get my, uh, my g8 knight out. Probably onto f6.
I'll probably have to go bishop d2, I imagine. Then I'll probably just need to fall back with the queen. Okay, so he just protects the pawn. That's fine. Right, just adds a defender. Uh, totally understandable. I want to get my knight out so I can just castle. E7 or F6? Hmm. This is a move too. I don't like F6 as much just because it's only protected by the pawn. But maybe I just shouldn't worry about that for now. Maybe E4 is a more valuable square for the knight. I just want to castle so I don't fall victim to any back rank or check foolery here. I know he could probably only check with the queen here, but um, I just want to be safe. It's move 13 and I haven't castled, so I want to just play a little bit safer here. Very cool mirror image here. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, so he's kind of preventing uh, castling here. I wonder if there's like a sick move I could make. I suppose I could just get the rook out onto d8. And then he'll be forced to run back. Yeah, he's really just pressuring a rook. It may go something like c5 to still maintain that pressure. If he goes c5, I'll probably go e4, knight e4. His uh, rook is loose here at the moment, so maybe I try to find some way to pressure this rook. Something like c4, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a fork on the rooks, but how do I follow up with that? Uh, so this is a little bit of a problem for me. Right. It's actually a good square. I can't, the knight is kind of pinned and it sort of prevents me from castling. It's actually a really good move by him. Um, hmm. What can I do here? Yeah, I don't really want to lose this knight. I don't want to lose g7. I don't know if there's a good way for me to protect that. I don't want to move the king. Maybe I just go protect g7 with a knight or something. It's a really bad square for the knight, though. h5. And it's going to really ruin my ability to castle. Probably won't be worth castling. If I take with the pawn. Maybe I give him the knight, but go pressure the rook. Maybe I give up this c2 idea here. 
Mm. Yeah, really good move by him. I mean, worst case scenario, I just take the bishop back. Yeah, good move. Maybe h5 is the move, though. I think the problem with h5 is that if he moves his knight anywhere, it's going to hang the knight. Hmm. So he is threatening, let me think. He's basically attacking b7, but then b8 is also under attack. Yeah, also good move by him. Hmm. I think I'm just losing a knight here. I have to protect this pawn. I don't want his queen going back here. That's the thing. I guess I could just push the rook up, huh? I don't really want to disconnect the rooks, though. It's either queen c8 or rook d7. Hmm. Mm, I'm just going to go rook d7. I think I'm just going to have to lose this knight and get a really awkward situation going with the castle. A bit unfortunate, but... I just don't want my king on g8 on the open file. That's my main problem. I guess I could go h5 at this point, just protect g7. Extra firepower, huh? Okay, where was I? Okay, so we're getting double attacked here. Okay, that's nice, that's pleasant. Hmm, I do have a free pawn there, but at what cost? Yeah, I have to protect. Surprised he hasn't taken this knight yet. I did have a pawn there, but it's it wasn't worth losing this b7 pawn. Hmm. Maybe c6 was a better idea so I could still maintain pressure here, and then I could have pushed up b5. And maybe c8 wasn't the idea. No. And I really want to pressure this piece somehow. Yeah, really good square e5 for his bishop there. Really good square. He'll probably be looking for some shenanigans here, I imagine. Maybe if he decides to push a pawn. I guess this pawn is kind of pinned, huh?
honestly okay just to take the knight here at this point. This is the one downside of the Karo Khan for me. I feel like I always get a really late castle. Also, f6 is probably not the square for the knight. I think d7 was better for the knight. Or, uh, what is it? e7, sorry. Saw that coming, so unfortunately, I think this is just unavoidable at this point. Yeah, really, really rough. Really rough uh, kind of protection for the king here. I mean, I do have an open file type situation going on here. Okay, he does choose to back away, which I don't blame him for. Okay, so we kind of have to fall back here. Hmm. Uh, I could potentially pin his G pawn. And then look for some stuff. I think just putting the rook out on the open file just makes too much sense. Hmm. He did block in sort of the attack on the on the B pawn here. But I don't know. Putting the rook on the open file is always good. Interesting. So I think he's trying to win. Well, you know, even if he were to take, I think I have to fall back to uh, D E7 here. Even if he were to take this. Well, let me think about this. Can't really push because I lose that pawn. Can't take, it's defended. So he's got one, two, three attackers there. Yeah, I'm really regretting not going uh, d6 earlier. I could have protected b6 if I had pushed that up. And I have to move the rook somewhere, so. He's going to be winning a pawn. Maybe it's not the end of the world, but... I wonder if I just have enough firepower to get a back rank mate. Let's see if pawn takes. He takes with his rook. I take with the rook. He takes with the rook. No, he's still going to be left with the queen and the knight. 
Oh, with the knight, probably. Oh, he went that way. Oh, interesting. Okay. I wonder if I just take the pawn at this point. Or no, I can't. Good move by him. Now he's winning this pawn too. I think I'm forced to take here. Or forced to trade at least. Mm, he'll be winning this pawn. Well, no, he won't because he has to take with the queen here. I really don't want to go for the queen trade as a thing. I'll probably be looking for like b1 next. Just wonder if I can add pressure. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine if he takes takes the rook because he's blocked in. Maybe I just try to win the pawn and then just try to like barrage down the G file or something. Hmm. He'll be winning a pawn, but then again, so will I. Hmm. I just don't want to take this, because it gets this queen out. I'd rather leave my queen on c7. I don't know. I know this is kind of weird. But I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to see if I can go for the check. And if I'm just like one pawn move away from getting my queen out onto the g-file g too, I might just go for it. I don't know. Maybe it's worth like moving my rook back to like e7 as well. Maybe I should have went rook e7 to begin with. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of shot myself in the foot when I left my queen on this file. It's just very blocked in on this light square. Um, okay, so that's actually a big problem for me. I pins my queen. Ugh, I should have noticed that. That was so dumb. Oh, that was so dumb, man. Just don't know. That was just so dumb. Very, very dumb. Feels bad. Yeah, it's basically GG if he gets his queen out on the on the eighth rank. Really regretting not taking this rook. <laughs> is there anything else that I have here? Man, this queen is just so blocked in. I can't get my king out. It's basically GG. Oh, I didn't play this very well. Man, when he got his uh, bishop out onto, what was it, uh, e5 or f6 or whatever, that was that was really rough to find a move there. But Oh, well. I wonder if there's anything I can do if I just go protect, protect the queen instead of just trading off. I mean, it kind of is protected, but...
Here's the thing, if I can get his rook and his queen off the back rank, if I get my rook onto like f1, it's basically mate. So maybe I just play to get like as even of a position and try to like force his rook out or something. I mean, I'm only down three, which is pretty good. But yeah, my king's in a really rough spot, but then again, so is his king. We're climbing our way back down to the 700s, boys. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just mate, right? Yeah, rook f1, if his rook isn't here, his mate. Yeah, really nice move by him. Uh, and this is check. Yeah, d8 check. Ah, feels bad, bro. Feels bad. Yeah, gg. Uh, I guess it's... Not quite mate, but it's going to be really close. Oh, uh, no, I guess since my rook is still protecting. I could do like a Hail Mary. Oh, uh, no, I can't do a Hail Mary. Yeah, if I can somehow get onto f2, sack the rook, maybe he falls for it, and then I go f1, that'd be like my only chance. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to protect over there. I think he's going for... Uh check and then trying to take the rook that way can't quite go d8 I don't think that was the move. I don't think D was the move. You have to make sure I don't get forked. Actually, yeah, he did have like the fork and two attackers on C8 there. If he went D6. Maybe just run my king out. That'd be pretty funny if I can get my king all the way out of here. Yeah, it's a bit rough because I can't go... Uh, boy. Ah, oh, man, this sucks.
I need to get his queen off of this square. <laughs> I think I need to run my king. <laughs> he just moves his rook. Ah, damn it. Oh, this is actually really good because he took the defender off of. Uh, he takes the rook. Damn it. This would be a really rough move. It's going to be really hard for him to lose, yeah. <laughs> GG. GG. Back down to the 700s. There was so much fanfare yesterday about getting into the 800s and now we're back down. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. He played really well, so what can I say? We're going to fall apart. This is a blunder. Looks like I still had a chance here. Yeah, let me go back to the other position with the bishop on e5. I'm surprised that this was such an inaccuracy. I don't know, this seemed like such a good move. I just, it seemed like if I tried to attack it, he takes, and now I have, you know, this situation. Which I guess the engine does say I'm a lot better in this position. But yeah, what should have, yeesh. Uh... Rough string of moves there. So what should I have played here? I, I just couldn't find the move in the position. Um, what was the engine recommending? Castling, really. I don't know. I just didn't. I just thought the king on the G file, open G file, was just going to be really bad. Yeah. But the engine says I still have the favor here, so. This was a mistake. What should I have played here to protect? Really? I don't know. It seemed like he was winning a free pawn here. Uh, but then he loses a rook. Ah. Should have noticed that. Right, so he would have taken the defender off the rook. Yeah, I kind of thought about that the wrong way. I, I was too focused on this pawn and not focused on the attack on the rook there. Yeah, so castling, connecting the rooks. I, I was just trying to get too clever there, it seems like. Bishop f5, not the idea. e7, yeah. That was my gut instinct, was e7. Oops. Take. Yep, knight takes. Queen c3. Queen b3. Offer the trade skis. Queen d2. Mm -mm. Queen a3. Bishop e4. Got it. Gotcha. Yeah, this was this was not the move. I regret not taking just the rook here, just trading off and still at least being in a even position. Um I tried to get too fancy towards the second half of the game there and it just it didn't pay off. Yeah, bummer. And then he found the pin. Um I sh I should have been able to spot this pin here. Um, yeah, not very smart thinking. At the very least, I should have just put my king on e7 or something. Probably would have been a better spot for it, since it would connect the rook and the queen. I'm um, just kind of wondering what that would have looked like. Also, white has a huge advantage here. Queen b4. Oh, sure. Ah, yeah, that's even... Oh, yeah. I see. This is so bad, huh? Q4. 
Taking d7. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. So the big mistakes here were not castling the bishop h3 move and then not trading rooks here. Those were kind of the three moves where it fell apart. And then maybe overprotecting this b pawn and not focusing on the rook that he had on a2 here since I had a attacker on and I wasn't thinking about removing the defender off of it. So yeah. One thing I need to get better about when playing the Karo Khan is um, not castling. I feel like this is what happens to me a lot, is that the queen side gets like overexposed, and then the king side basically just stays on its starting squares. And then I always run into situations where uh, I castle way too late, or just castle never, and then everything just kind of falls apart. Uh, from the back rank, like the queen side. That's been my experience with the Karo Khan, at least. Um, that's probably my least favorite thing about it, is that uh, I'm in this position a lot. So, but uh, anyways, GG, GG Sibaldo84 from the UK. And uh, see you guys in the next game.